Lady Elise is most eager to speak to you this morning and is waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. Lady Elise is a delightful girl, but I don't believe your pajamas will do much to impress her. It becomes a member... Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Lady Elise will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to her now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, sir. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My prince. Prince. Trust you're well, sir. Ah, oh, my prince. I shan't bother you, Highness. Hello, prince. My lord. Good day. Oh, how are you, my prince? Good day to you. My lord. Oh, brave knight, have you come to protect me? <laughs> you big softy. You'd be rubbish in a fight, wouldn't you? <laughs> wouldn't you? I'll protect you, my lady. Hmm, I don't know. You don't look so tough either. Hmm, perhaps you can give me a demonstration of your abilities. How's that? Oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> I suppose you'll do. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. More than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen, they say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to them. Will you do that? I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their prince. So, my good prince, will you take my hand and escort me to the castle? Everyone's waiting for you. Good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. Ah, my lord. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to continue with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. How nice to see you. Welcome, your majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready, You are all privileged to work in this castle, serving your country. You have standards to live up to, and I expect you to always do your best, no matter what the cost. These may be difficult times, but I will not tolerate any unrest or the spreading of wild rumors. Now back to work. Well, that was quite a speech. 
You were very commanding. Your brother would be pleased. But remember, fear is not the only way to inspire loyalty. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of him, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. Sir Walter! What a stroke of luck! Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything. But perhaps the prince here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, Your Majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. I don't like signing things. How about this instead? I just want to go home. I... I there, there really was no need for that. You're young. You're entitled to your amusement. But you need to realize there are important things at stake. Perhaps you will see that in today's combat training. Come on. You have made good progress these past few weeks. Fight! Good, good! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father? The great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero! <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me. It's time you showed me what you've got. Don't think of me as Walter. Think of me as an enemy. Strike! Ha-ha! <laughs> you only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen. There's something... Walter! You have to come quickly. Both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. We can't just stand here. I have a horrible feeling about this. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter. Find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Quick! You can see them! Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his brother. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something.
What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors? Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my brother and his friends to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. <clears throat> what? Leave her alone. I'm all right, I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, brother. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spine. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this girl? The sentence will be death. What? No, this can't be. You are the prince. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. Please. We didn't mean anyone any... It should be me. Don't do this. It should be me. The girl lives. Kill the rest now. Please. 